search engines can be one of the easiest ways your customers and potential customers can find your company unless your link doesn't come up when someone does a search. So in today's Consultants Corner, we're going to ask Stephanie Leffler, Senior Vice President of Network Solutions, just how you make sure that your company comes out on top of those listings. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, JJ. So how important is it, whether you're an internet company or a brick and mortar company or you have services, how important is it to come up first? Sure. Um, it, right now, it's incredibly important. You know, when you look at what people are doing out on the web, they are searching. That's how they find websites. So coming up in those top slots, no matter whether you're an e-commerce company or a local business providing services, it's very important. It's often the difference between success and failure for a small business. All right. Let's go through your top three things to get you on the top of sure. those. Good content. What do you mean by that? Sure. A lot of uh, websites you know, have a lot of pictures and a few words, but a search engine is looking for the foremost authority on a given subject. And that means you have to provide them a lot of text that a search engine can read. So they want the site that knows the most and is the most reputable on a topic. So you've got to provide a lot of good content that can be done through articles or through blogs. There are a number of ways to get it, but a lot of small businesses make the mistake of just not having enough. So for example, how could I add content? If I'm selling a shampoo on my site and I'm saying X shampoo 295 what can I do to add content to that sure um, the very best thing you can do is write an article about the shampoo tell the customer the benefits of the shampoo you know a lot of retailers are used to just having a little tag on the shelf and now you have as much room as you need to tell the customer all the reasons that they should buy it and at the same time you're feeding the search engine great content so in some ways maybe the customer might not even need all this information but put it on anyhow yeah we find that customers are used to finding a lot more information online and they do a lot of reading you'd be surprised Okay, the other thing is having a lot of links to your sites helps in your search engine placement. So how do you get more links to your site? Sure. Well, the first thing that's important to understand is search engines view links kind of like a voting system. So if you have a site that links to you, they're saying, oh, that site is voting for your site. So you actually want the word that you want to come up for to be the link. So um, what you would do is go out and talk to friends who maybe have websites. Um, if you have a blog or really any website where you contribute content, just ask for them. You'd be surprised. People will give you links and more links is always better. So for example, if you sell a bunch of stuff but you want to come up high when you write shampoo, then your friends who have a blog should say shampoo and link to you? Yep, and they should link using the word shampoo. Okay. A lot of times you'll say click here and that's the link. Well, your site isn't about click here. It's about shampoo. So that's the important word to link. Okay, this next one, this now gets in technology that's going to make people uh, not understand what we're saying. <laughs> sure. You say title tags and meta tags. Yep. What are those? Sure. Um, they are behind the scenes uh, pieces of text for your website. So when you pull up um, an internet browser and at the very top you see what the site is about, that's the title tag. A webmaster can show you how to do it. If you search online for how to make a title tag or how to build a meta tag, you can find some really simple guides to help you do that. But it's important that you have your keywords there and that it's very focused on the content of your site. You know, there's so many companies out there that help you with this SEO search engine optimization. You guys are one, Network mm -hmm. Solutions. For someone who's just starting out with this, how do you go about about evaluating a company? Sure. The first thing I would do is turn to the internet, um, do a search, and find out what other people have thought of the companies that they've used. Um, also, stick with bigger names. Um, if you've never heard of a company, at least place a couple of phone calls to make sure they're there to answer the phone and can answer all of your questions the way you think they should be Is answered. there any way to evaluate it by saying who is your client and then doing a quick search on some of those words? Definitely. I would ask for examples. I would say, you know, tell me some clients that you've worked for in the past and then run some searches and see if they are coming up. That's a great way to get good advice. And then finally, if you're coming up high on one search engine, is it likely that you're going to come up high on all of the search engines or do they all work a little differently? They all work slightly differently, but for the most part, the criteria are the same. So I would, you know, focus. If you get in one, that's great. If you can get in uh, more than one, that's wonderful. So if you do it right for one, you'll probably come up in the others as well. Okay, Stephanie Leffler, this is a question we get so often, so I'm glad you're here to answer sure. it. Sure. Thank you so much for having me, JJ.